Hello everybody and welcome back! Yeah, I was trying to record a video on Saturday, but that wasn't possible because I was in Berlin with my brother because we had two tickets for the UFC fight night and as you can hear my throat is still a little yeah sore and yeah I got a little excited and I was shouting at a fight f from a German fighter it was really good and yeah enough of that let's see what we build in this video oh man <coughs> That was a fight, and yeah, there was a title fight between two girls, and let me tell you, Mrs. Penner, Jessica Penner, I guess, oh man, that poor little girl got knocked out pretty bad, yeah, blah. but yeah, enough of this, let's see, so this is the room where we left off last time, or the room upstairs here. So we have to build this one here. Go upstairs. For the next room, or corridor, so to say. And maybe you recognize Sherry is not with us anymore, so now is she's not dead. Um, she got dragged away by her mutated zombie father, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And we have to play a little section as Sherry as well. Um, in where she gets sucked in by this hole here. And then she got stuck in a storage room, but I will show you this in a second. So, this is the next room. This is a giant, actually a giant save room here. I guess this will lead us to the lab. <clears throat> but now I will show you the storage room. Okay. This is the storage room. Uh, or let's just say one room where you have to enter as Sherry. Boop, 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 boop. Like this. And then there's a yeah Star Star Wars like um garbage container or disposal. I don't know. Boop. Let me go. Okay. I hope we will build these rooms in this video, or I can manage to build them. <clears throat> I hope so, at least. But yeah. This should be all for this video. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot of work to do. And I guess I will see you in the Minecraft pad. Okay everybody, welcome to the Minecraft part of the video and here we are where we left off in the last video. So as you can see this is a more dungeony looking corridor here. And then we have the zoop, torture chamber of Dr. Mengele here and that's the last room we built. And then we will continue down here. Broop. So, without further ado, let me build and I will show you the result. Until then, hang in there. So, the first room, or should I say cave, is done. So, for this cave, I uh, was going for a more Minecrafty looking type of cave, not the um, yeah actual cave from the Resident Evil 2 game. But, yeah. In my opinion, it turned out quite nice. I hope you like it too. So it's not just a normal cave system from Minecraft. There are some additions like the yeah, like the blocks here, the mossy stone blocks. And yeah, 
in my opinion it looks pretty nice. Well, let's have a look under the bridge. I hope you can see it. Whoop. Okay. And now I have to do the upstairs. So without further ado, let me build and I will show you. Alright, so the first part of the sewer system is done and let me tell you it is pretty gross and creepy looking. So here we have it. I don't really know yet what's up there. There's a... Or well, there's supposed to be a... Yeah. A corridor where these super zombie the, or the last boss in the game is walking on. Maybe we will find out later in the game. But nevertheless, here's the first sewer system room. Ah. This looks a bit sloppy, but I can't do anything about it. Or maybe you have a solution. Let me know if you have. But yeah, here you have it. The first sewer system corridor or room. So now I will continue building and I will let you know. Alright everyone, so the next sewer room is done. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it's just a extension of the last room here. As you can see there are similar blocks besides the quartz blocks here. <clears throat> and yeah, this is the part where Sherry got sucked in. And I will show you in a later video the playable part as Sherry. And yeah, here you have it. The next sewer room. So, now as always let me continue building and I will show you the result. Alright everybody, so the next room is done. So, as you can see it's a rather large safe room for Resident Evil standards. With again, of course, some ventilation systems here and there, pipes on the ceiling. Some computers or monitors here and there, like this, a big conference table, at least I think it's a conference table, I don't know, a sink and a chest of course. Because every safe room in Resident Evil needs a chest, because it would be unfair. So here you have it, the next room. And now I have to go down there again and I guess as always I will let you know if the room is done. Alright everybody so the last room for this video is done and now let's have a look. So as you can see it's just a yeah simple looking storage room nothing really special in my opinion. It had to be done. So this is another room where you enter as Cherry in the playable Cherry part. <laughs> playable Cherry part. Yeah. Okay. Here you have it. Similar to the room upstairs. Alright. So now I will meet you upstairs for the usual see you later speech. <laughs> And I guess I will see you upstairs. Alright everybody, so you might wonder why am I at the village again? Yeah, there was a long time viewer who was really happy that I relocated this village here. And I want to dedicate this village to him for quite some time now. And now let's have a look who I mean. I hope I pronounce it right.
Everbridge 666. Now this is your village. Have fun with that. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of work done in this video and I, as always, hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a nice day and I will see you back in the next. Bye bye everybody.